Hey everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house having my coffee. There's a little bit of chill in the air right now, that's why I got this on. But uh, it's going to be sunny most of the day and it's going to warm up, so that's good. I've only had to light a fire like two times in the morning over the last several days, so that's awesome. Anyhow, everything's going okay. I mean, it's... <laughs> It's going okay. I've been having some issues. I've been having some issues with my phone. Um, in fact, right now, I'm, I have to hold it a certain way so it'll charge. Um, it's just not charging right. I don't know what's going on. I've been deleting apps and trying to work with it, but I don't know. It's weird. Um, I've, I've had issues with the dogs, with the chickens, with roosters, Mr. Lucas Roosters. Um... His, he only has one rooster now, and I'll talk some other time about Mr. Cockadoo because he's been, he's been through it, but Mr. Lucas has been taking very good care of him, so I think he's going to be on the mend. Um, I've had to restructure the dog yard. Uh, that's got me really stressed out because the puppies are getting out. I mean, all three. When I say puppies, I mean all three. Um, wreaking havoc, um, so... It's, the situation has almost become untenable. Um, I know for sure that I will never get rid of Papa. Um, but the puppies, that's debatable. I think I've taken on more than I can choose. So I'm in investigating options on trying to find a home or a rescue or somebody, somehow, some way. I, I just, it's too much. I think it's just too much. So, but it's, I'm still in the thinking process over that. So I've been doing a lot of work over here and elsewhere and um, just trying to earn a little bit of money because things are tight right now for everybody. Um, and I've got some things coming up that I, I got to do. So um, And they take money. They all take money. Anyhow, today what I want to talk about, and this is a little source of frustration for me, is um, Amazon. I love Amazon. I love shopping on Amazon that you order it online. They deliver it to your front door. But um, there's a racket going on at Amazon and that is resellers. I had gone to purchase some things and I purchased things like um, bulk items or I mean some people might call them survival food and I still haven't talked about all that yet. Things for long-term storage but I always look for sale prices. So the other day, I had picked out um, a whole bunch of different stuff, and within a five-minute period of time, went back to pay for it in my cart, and they had already changed prices. And I went back and investigated, and I found out that, well, um, after I put them in my cart, somebody else had already gone and purchased all of them, okay? So... And they jack the prices up. <laughs> That's what they do. That's what the resellers do. They will look for sale items like I do for somebody who just wants to buy one or two. They will go wipe out the entire store of all of the items and then they will put them back on Amazon, sell them, and jack up the prices. So I'm going to show you some screenshots of exactly how that happened. The first one I want to talk about is Oxen Farms Buttermilk Pancake Mix. For this size can, that's a good price. So I put it in my cart and not five minutes later, look at this. A bunch of resellers snatched it up and jacked up the price. So you know what I did? I took it out of my cart. I will not buy from a reseller unless they are offering a product at a lower price. And the reseller prices just kept going up and up. It's ridiculous. The next one I want to talk about is Oxen Farms Dehydrated Bell Peppers. This is a great price for this size can. Taking into consideration, I normally buy this size from Mother Earth Products, but take a look at this. Five minutes later and boom! The price had doubled and I took it out of my cart. Next, I was going to purchase Oxen Farms Freeze-Dried Beef. That is a pretty good price for this size can, taking into consideration that the brand I usually buy, Mountain House, was up to oh, $91 basically. But within that five minute time frame that it took to complete my order, it had jumped up to $90. I took it out of my cart. I will not buy it at that price. The next one I want to talk about is for a prior purchase that I made. Remember me talking about this Oxen Farms freeze-dried white chicken meat? I said I got like 20. It was actually about $30 off. $41.83 is a decent price for this size can. But look at the price now. 
I just will not purchase this at this price. It's not a good buy and I cannot afford something unless it's a good buy. So I'll wait till it goes on sale again and purchase it right when I put it in my card because literally minutes, sometimes seconds matter when you're buying stuff off Amazon. Honestly, it's a tough world right now that we're living in with inflation prices and with how people manipulate things on Amazon. It kind of makes me angry, kind of makes me think maybe I should get into the business of Amazon reselling because this is how they make money. And you will notice sometimes some of the products that normally ship in one to two days or within a week, um, you go and try and buy them again and you'll notice that it says usually ships within one to two months. That's normally because many times, maybe not normally, but many times because the product is being sold by a reseller who is waiting to get the product into their possession or somehow worked out so that they can sell the product then to you. And that's why it takes so long. But I don't know. It's a racket. I don't like it, but it is what it is. So you just got to be smart when buying things off Amazon. You know what? Uh, bartering is beginning to look very good to me. Oh, speaking of which, I'm getting between 10 and 11 eggs a day. So I traded this beautiful, beautiful batch of eggs for a big mess of fresh fish. Mr. Lucas, brother Paul, he went fishing and he says, well, I'll trade you some fish for some eggs. And I thought I was going to go down there, drop off the eggs, and he was just going to give me um, some bash, one or two, and I was going to clean them up myself. But no, he cleaned them, he filleted them, he had them in a nice little bag for me, and oh my goodness, I took them home. I didn't batter them. I did bread them. I just used some Jiffy Mix and put in all kinds of wonderful seasonings, a little chili powder, some turmeric some salt, pepper, garlic, and they came out absolutely perfect. What do you guys think? I mean, I think they look good. I think I did a good job, and I'm not normally very good at frying things, but I was so, so thrilled to have this fish for my eggs. Oh my goodness, they were so delicious. My mouth is watering right now. So I think we need to start our own marketplace. Yeah, it's working out great for me right now. Just be careful when you buy things on Amazon. And in the next video, in the next video, the next one, I'm going to talk about what I think are good buys and not so good buys as far as prepper food, food for your prepper pantry, um, survival food, or whatever that is. Because I bought some things and spent some money, and I won't do it again. So I don't want you to either. Anyway, um today uh it's gonna rain tomorrow so i'm gonna do some laundry i've already done some dishes um move some water around go watch my chickens in their very safe yard i've changed the yard around and i don't know hopefully just enjoy my day anyhow that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.